Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we are going to do another Sure Cuts A Lot tutorial and we're actually going to be taking a JPEG or a PNG image and using Sure Cuts A Lot to turn it into a multi-layered SVG. Really nice and easy to do this. Now you are gonna have to think about the images that you're going to work with. If they are quite solid in the colors, then it's going to be nice and easy. If there's a lot of colour shading, it's a little bit more involved. And it doesn't matter whether that sure cuts a lot or any other third party program, you'll get a lot easier results with solid colours than something that's got a lot of shaded colours. It's just they take a little bit more time to do. But your cuts a lot certainly does make it a lot easier. Now, as we know with Design Space, if we're working with a JPEG, we come in and we have to remove the background. If it's a PNG, the background is already removed. But if we wanted an image like this, we would tend to just do it as a print and cut. We can do it as individual layers, but it's very involved. It doesn't always work. Again, it depends if there's lots of shading. Um, and it can take a while to bring in all those layers individually. So we tend to just keep them as print and cut. But Show Cuts A Lot will allow us to easily change this from a PNG or a JPEG into an SVG. And it's the same process for both. Be it a JPEG or a PNG, it's exactly the same process. So I'm on Creative Fabrica and I love these llamas, but they only come as a PNG. So I'm going to download it. I can then open it up and I'm going to choose the Llama file. And then all I'm going to do is select one, hold my shift key down and use my arrows on my keyboard to select them all. And I'm just going to move them across to my pictures so that they're easy for me to find. So once I've done that, I can come into Sure Cuts A Lot and I'm going to use the trace feature. So trace is up here next to our library. So I'm just gonna select trace and I can choose my image. So I'm going to select this one here and open. The only thing we really need to do, there's two things we need to do. If we come to image settings, you'll see there's mode. If we click that drop down menu, we've got monochrome, color layers and single color. You want to make sure that single color is selected. The other thing is that down at the bottom here, it says prompt to continue tracing. We want to make sure that that is ticked. The reason being is that if we don't do that, every time we do a layer, this will close down and the layer will come in to our screen. We then have to go back to trace, choose the image again, make sure that that's selected and then do the next layer. Because of the way some of these are created, they can either come in straight on the canvas, which makes it nice and easy, or if they're really big, they'll come in and you have to then resize each layer. And it can be a little bit tricky to then line them all up. Doing it this way means that they'll come in all at the same time. So if they are huge, you can reduce the whole image down, even though it's separate layers, it will all come in together. So you can reduce it down all at once rather than having to try and puzzle it together. So make sure that prompt to continue tracing is selected. I'm going to double click on this color block and it will then come over to here and you'll see when I come over my llama I can then choose the colors to select. So I'm just going to select all of those bits first and they'll highlight green and then I'm going to go OK. And it will come up because this is selected here. It will come up and say, would you like to continue tracing this image to add more layers? Yes. So now I'm going to select that box again by double clicking it. And it will come over here. And now I can choose the next color I want to do. So let's do the body. So the body is now going to turn green. OK. And yes. Double click this. And now I can choose the next thing. OK. Yes. 
and double click that. And that's what we're just going to keep doing. So I'm going to do the ears. And now I'm going to do the feet. Make sure every time you want to change the colour that you double click this box. I'm going to choose the other feet because they're slightly different shades. Again, I'm going to double click that box. Let's do his little nose area. And this should be the last one. So when we get to the last one, would you like to continue tracing? We're going to say no. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. And if you do miss a part, all you're going to do is go back into trace. Choose that image again. Open. And then we can double click that. We've got a little bit of white that I seem to have missed there. And I can select OK. And I'm going to say no because I want to do this a layer at a time. And there you go, it's filled it in there. But you want to make sure that you don't move this until you've got all your layers. Because if it comes over here, you want to get all the layers done and then size it down and move it across. So I'm just going to select all those layers by holding down my shift key. And I'm also going to hold down my shift key so that I can reduce the size. And I'm just going to make sure that it's within the parameters of this mat. I'm then going to go file export. I'll give it a name. So let's call it Llama SVG and save. And we want to make sure it's design space compatible. Okay. I can then open up design space, go to upload, upload image, browse, and it should automatically have saved in your photos. We can select Llama SVG. We can give it a name and tag it and save. Select it and insert image. We can size it up. And then I'm going to ungroup. And you may find that you've got two lots you need to ungroup. And then what I'm going to do is actually start looking at my layers. So I can see because I know that I brought the two eyes in separately and the nose and the mouth separately. And I actually want them to be all one cut. So if I come to my layers panel, I can select the first eye and I'm going to hold down my shift key. And then using my layers panel, I'm going to select the other eye, the mouth and the nose. And then I'm going to weld those together, you could attach them. Um, and then you can, of course, unattach. If you weld and you save, you can't then unweld. But I am going to weld them because I'll always keep them the same color. And then I'm actually going to change the color to black. Just so I know that I would cut it out in a black vinyl. The same with the hooves. They're two separate because they're two slightly different colours. So I'm going to select the first lot and hold down my shift key. And then the second lot. And then I'm going to, I'll probably just attach those because I do want them to have separate cuts. If I weld them, the back one here is going to cut, become one complete cut. And actually, I do want that line going through it. So I'm just going to attach those. Because I've attached them, they'll now be the same colour. The same with the two outline of the body pieces here. I had to do those two separately. But they are the same. So I'm just going to select one. 
hold down my shift key and select the other. And then I'm just going to, I'm just going to weld those. And then the rest of it, because I did it in colours, the rest of them are exactly as I want them to be. So I can then go to make it. And I could cut this out in vinyl, iron on, if I wanted to do it in cardstock, I can. Nice and easy to do. I'm going to show you again using a different file. So again, we're going to come to trace and choose image. And I'm just using again a PNG that I've got from Creative Fabrica. Let's go with this one because that is pretty cute. We've made sure that single color is selected. And again, you can use the drop down menu just to select it. And we're making sure that the prompt to continue tracing is selected. I can then double click that color. And let's start with, let's do the outline color first. And again, it will go green. Okay. And yes, we want to continue adding more layers. Double click that color block. And this time let's select the body color. Okay. Yes. Double click. Let's do the ear color. Okay. Yes. Double click that color block. And let's do the eyes. Yep. Double click. Let's do the nose and mouth. Oh, they're separate. So we will need to weld those together, but that's fine. Yep, more layers. Double click again. And we can select the mouth. Okay. Yep, continue tracing. Double click. Let's do the, the nose area. Yep. Double click. Let's do the outside of the mask. Okay. And then last one is the green pom poms. Okay. And then no, we don't need any more layers. There we go. How amazing is that? I just think it's it's fantastic. It is a lot easier if you're working with solid colors rather than a lot of shading, but it's just about taking your time. But I absolutely love this. So I'm just going to make sure that that is within the realms and it is, but I can obviously move it if I want to. And I can then go file, export, it wants to save it as an SVG, so let's call it Llama Head and save. Make sure that Design Space Compatible is ticked. OK. We can open up Design Space, go to Upload. Upload Image. Browse. Give it a name and a tag and save. Select it and insert to canvas. We can then resize it. So let's just make that a bit smaller. And if we look at the layers, we know that the mouth and the nose and the eyes we did as separate layers. So we're just going to ungroup this. And then we're going to use our layers panel to find the nose. Hold down our shift key. And we can add the eyes and the nose bit and the collar. And then we can either weld or attach them. Uh, let's just attach them. There we go. Nice and easy to do. And we can then go to make it and we could cut that out in vinyl, iron on, cardstock, whatever you want to cut it out in. I absolutely love that you can do this so easily in Shakutsalot. It's 
fantastic. And you can do that with JPEG or PNG. It's the same method. Please do give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you hit that notification bell. As always, thank you so much for joining me. If you've got any questions, please do leave them below and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.